Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to create visual balance using the text align property. This is part of the applied visual design. Um, in this section, the curriculum focuses on applied visual design. The first group of challenges build on the given card layout to show a number of core principles. Text is often a large part of web content. CSS has several options for how to align um, align that text with text align property. So they've got justify here, which causes all the lines of text except the last line to meet the left and right edges of the box. We've got center, right, and text align left, um, which is the default. That's the way it looks right now. This is text align left. That's set there. It asks align H4 text, which says Google to the center, and then justify the paragraph text. Um, justify means that it's gonna spread it out so that it fills the space. And so um, this is a quick one, but it's also very useful. The text align property is can be hard to find if when you're uh, new to coding. So you go text, align, justify. Oh, no, for this one, we want to go center. And you'll see the Google will pop over here. Whoa! Uh, and then the P, um, this means, um, if you look down here, the P element is this one. Google is the H4 element, so H4 in the CSS selectors. This is the H4 HTML element, so we're styling the H4 element. Up here, we have the P element, and down here, we're doing that. So we're going to go um, text, align, justify and you'll see over here it'll pop over and now it fills that space and this is a cool design feature um, and so once again we've got h4 is the css selector and then the html class down here is h4 so all h4 elements are going to be centered if we added an h4 element here you'll see that it'll pop up centered um, this, yeah, and so the center line also kind of separates it to the next line, just having that H, well, the H4 element actually does that. So um, now if this was an H3 element, you'd see that it would not have that same uh, classification. But say we wanted to do it to the H3 element, we could come up here and just write, um, you know, we could do text one that isn't even part of this exercise. We can go text align right. And that would put the hello on this side of the page. And so I, the reason I'm doing these tutorials is to kind of support this a little bit more. This is unneeded, so I'm going to just get rid of this and this. And uh, we can run the test and we should pass. That's interesting. It's saying your code should use the text align property on the H4 tag to set it to center. Text align center on the H4 element. Oh, that's right. I changed it here when I was giving our, our description. So I'm just going to change this back over to H4 and then it's... Oh my gosh, I see what I did. I'm just pressing Control Z to go back. Well, there you have it. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I did to make the code not pass there, but as you can see, the H4 element is centered just as it runs. So, we passed the test. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope this was helpful. Give it a like. Please subscribe. It, seeing the more subscribers, it makes it so that I'm really inspired to keep making these videos. So, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next lesson.